Well, this one says, if you stand for nothing, you will fall for anything. I think that's familiar to me. It might be because <laughs> I've already done this one. But let me put this new twist on it because there's a bunch of people. Hold on, did I mess my face up? There. There is a bunch of people for falling for anything. We people are in the fall. And in the fall, we have to wake up to who we are, our identity. So we quit falling for anything. Can we get ourselves out of a fall? Yeah. Just because people tell you, look at these flowers while I'm talking. Just because people tell you that you're trapped in, in this world and there's the other side, the highway. Uh, the wind is blowing out of the south. So I have to be kind of careful which way I talk. Mm. Let me see. What are people falling for right now? Yeah, they're falling for the fact that this thing is deadly. The coronavirus I'm speaking of is deadly got to contemplate saving all these people from dying. You know what the biggest thing people fall for? Is the fact that they believe that they can die. Oh, I know people are going to write me and leave comments and say, buddy, everybody dies. You're dead gum right, everybody dies. But how many people lay it down? How many people lay their body down when they get 93, 95, 100? We have that ability and that power, but nobody is teaching it nowhere around here because we're in the fall. This was pre-fall knowledge. And it really meant something. It was taught by good people that actually used their own ascension as a witness to the fact there was no death. Yahshua ben Joseph was one of them. You know him as Jesus. He told people that he could raise his body. He told people that he had actually seen it done by other people and that he knew that he could do it. If people were really taught that the last great enemy to be defeated is death and that death has no sting no more, we could get on about the business of fixing all this corruption that's in the world because of the fall, the fallen nature of our consciousness, which has a powerful collective hold over billions of people. With a very few people that have wakened, awoken, or whatever you want to say, they've come out of their mind and got back into their heart. Did I hit my chest right? <laughs> yeah. I don't even know if my heart's in the middle anymore or on the left side. I, I gave up on trying to figure that out. I just know that if you're not thinking from your heart and you're using your analytical brain, to try to figure out what you're falling for. You can't fix stupid. You can't fix a lie of damnation that's been told to the population of this world. I'm telling you right now, there is no death. No one has ever died. We're eternal light body beings in a physical form. Sure, the physical form dies. It's pretty fragile. You have a car wreck, you could die. You fall off your damn bed in the wrong way, you'll die. Oh. 
There's good ways to die though. <laughs> and that's knowing that you can lay your body down. And you have that ability to do that. You'll figure it out. Everybody will figure it out. Because if what I think is coming is truth, and truth is going to un unleash a can of whoop ass on the dark, and that's one of the things the dark has controlled us with is the fear of death and the unknown identity of Christ consciousness that lives within each one of us. We're powerful. I'm powerful, you're powerful. You're perfect, you're walking in perfection. You just gotta be aware of how you're living in the now. That's the key is now and love yourself, forgive yourself and love everybody. Because when you see somebody, you're only seeing yourself. <laughs> the God that you are is winking back at you, man. <laughs> ah, you, you think there's a bunch of people out here in this world, don't you? <laughs> There's a bunch of machines and mechanical people, but uh, there's very few real God-conscious people. Try to find them. Ask God to reveal them to you and attract them in your life. You'll be blessed. Thank you. I love you. Next time.